welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card um, you've got is the broken mirror. So you've received some bad news with regards to money or there's been some kind of loss that you have incurred recently and that's with regards to your money. Um, so you have been working pretty hard trying to accumulate finances, uh, but there's been some kind of loss that has come in with regards to that money. Now you've got that uh, fish card above it, so you have been working pretty hard. There's some kind of new offer or new kind of job that you may have started recently. You've got that four of hearts over there. There's been some kind of offer that, you know, produced, uh, gave you a lot of money. Uh, you've got the fish there. Uh, and this is talking about a well-paying job as, you know, a well-paid offer that has come in for you. Uh, but you have incurred some kind of loss recently. It could have been in the form of theft, uh, you know, or you know, just some kind of loss that has happened. Maybe an accident, something has happened. Uh, you've got the mountain card over here. So there's a big obstacle, there's a big problem that has come in there. And it's caused a lot of anxiety on your part. There could have even been some legal problem that has caused this financial loss that you have been going through. Um, because you've got that Eight of Swords over here and been feeling very, very, or Eight of um, Spades, which is similar to the Eight of Swords, feeling very stuck uh, in that particular situ situation, but a lot of anxiety and uh, a lot of, um, um, you know, you're thinking about it quite a bit and feeling very distressed about what has happened. And it's, uh, it's a big obstacle, a big problem uh, that you have to overcome. But you need to hang in there uh, in order for you to overcome this particular obstacle, this particular problem. Now, in the past, um, you've had some kind of, um, you know, you've changed path. Uh, you've reached a crossroads in your life uh, with that two of clubs there, um, made some kind of decision, and you may have had been doing some travel as well. You've got the uh, railway, railway, railway line there, sorry. Um, but it, it looks like, you know, there's been some local travel that you've been doing. Maybe you've been traveling to this job uh, or, you know, doing a lot of local travel recently. And there again, uh, starting something brand new. So maybe a new job, a new project being started and being at the crossroads of your life. Uh, this is the ace of clubs. This is the brand new beginning of this new project, but also being faced with, uh, you know, making a decision about accepting this particular offer. It looks like you have accepted that offer because it's definitely brought in a lot more money, but there's been some kind of loss that's happened recently. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, the jack of hearts here together with the book. So some information needs to come to light. So there might be an offer for study that comes in here. So the book is about learning, study, uh, you know, um, tackling the unknown. The Jack of Hearts is like the um, uh, Knight of um, Cups where an offer comes in. So this is an offer that comes in for study. So there's some further learning coming in there for you or for some further training coming in over there. And um, you've got the rose uh, together with that uh, nine of um, spades. So something coming in causing a little bit of anxiety. So all the, you know, you want to do this, there might be some problems that you, um, you know, unexpected problems, unforeseen problems with that rose. It's got a lot of thorns. Uh, but all together, you know, if you, uh, you go for it, it's something that you want to do. There might be a little bit of uh, problems that you have to deal with first or some kind of challenges that you have to deal with it's going to cause a little bit of anxiety maybe a bit of sleepless nights uh, but all in all you know it's a good prospect whatever this offer is it's pretty good for study there might be a bit of difficulties initially but you'll get through that uh, so there's that offer of study coming in over there and you're facing some kind of loss financial loss and problems at this particular moment uh, you just need to hang in there and, and try not to be too tense about the whole thing um, and uh, you know try to uh, overcome that anxiety, see the positives of it, and uh, make plans. These are usually things that help people get over uh, anxieties. If you know what you're doing, then you don't have to be afraid of the unknown. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Sorceress Tarot. Oh. 
that is right. <laughs> so, at the bottom of the deck, you have got the Six of Cups. So there's definitely this offer coming in over there. Uh, it's something brand new or making a brand new start. You can see this baby coming out of the shell over there. Uh, you're, you seem to be a little bit defensive about what you're, uh, you know, wanting to start this thing, but not quite sure. You are protecting yourself there. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe there's this new learning opportunity coming your way. So uh, this is going to help you manifest for the future. Um, with the Six of Cups, there might be that offer for study, for further study coming in over there uh, as well. Um, if you're starting a new job, this could be working with people that you've worked with in the past as well with that Six of Cups. But there's definitely this kind of offer coming in over here, and it's going to help you move. Um, you know, you can see that baby crawling into this little boy that's walking. So it's something that's going to improve your skills, and it's going to give you a little edge over everybody else as well. Now what's going on with you, uh, we've got uh, the eight of uh, rods over there and you've got that um, knight of rods. So there's some travel coming in as well. Uh, so you are trying to manifest, uh, you know, um, all your dreams and aspirations there. You're working pretty hard on it. You're pretty focused over there. With the eight of rods, it's about movement. It's also about um, information or learning. It's also trying to synchronize all your efforts uh, and get yourself, uh, you know, uh, organized really with that eight of rods so you do need to do that and there's some news coming in as well so there could be some travel uh, I think it's all it's all about travel here because you've got that knight of rods over there so there might be this new job offer with that six of cups is generally a, a new job offer coming in over there um, it's it's for some steady work as well you can see with uh, the bottom the card below it is that three of pentacles there. So being very focused on the work, studying, uh, working according to deadlines over there, um, being very hands-on in that, that job uh, with that six of cups, this new offer comes in to do that kind of work. And it's going to allow you to manifest your future. Uh, it's going to be something that you're going to, I, you can see this man's very, very hands-on what he's doing. He's trying to use his hands to direct his power. Uh, and it's going to use a lot of uh, mental effort as well, mental en energy. But it's also going to mean that you're going to travel quite a bit. Uh, this uh, night of uh, rods is about traveling to, um, you know, overseas, meeting a lot of foreign people, doing a lot of communication, being very, very hands-on, being very, very energetic, uh, putting all your effort and energy into this movement, uh, and you know, dealing with challenges, but dealing, me needing to deal with it uh, pretty quickly. Um, so this is about, uh, you know, traveling and you might be doing this job on that international front or even going overseas to do this particular new job that you want to do. So maybe this new offer has come in for some kind of international work that you need to do. So what's happened in the past is you've got the hermit card, so you have been studying. Uh, maybe you have been working to specialize in this particular field because it's the hermit card ruled by Virgo. Virgo is about specializing. It's about, uh, you know, uh, becoming an ex expert at whatever it is you're doing, whatever field you're doing. But also, it's about spending a lot of time with your books. It's about spending a lot of time with education and knowledge uh, and being very, very focused, you know, almost uh, cutting out the world, cutting out everything else and just focusing on that uh, work, uh, focusing on that learning. Now, you've got that nine of swords, and this is about anxiety. So these fears are unfounded that you've been having. Whatever situation you're going through, you're feeling very, very anxious about things. Uh, you know, Virgo uh, energies are usually about anxieties, and this nine of uh, swords is almost embracing that Virgo energy. Uh, you can see that this bug here is pretty big, uh, and you're pretty scared to act. So there's something that's scaring you. There's some kind of fear that you have about doing things. You may not have the confidence to do it. You might be seeing the problem as bigger than it is. So whatever problems you're facing, you, you know, you, you're feeling a little overwhelmed in this particular situation. Uh, you know, very, very anxious right now. Now, you've got uh, uh, the tower on your mind. So there's been some kind of crisis that you have gone through recently. Maybe this prospect of going and starting afresh somewhere else is causing you to feel very unstable, uh, you know, with this uh, tower energy. It doesn't look like the tower is played out in your cards, but it looks like it's on your mind. And you're worried that maybe uh, making this big move is going to be very disruptive to your life. Um, so you do go, need to go and do some kind of research or learning. Uh, you know, you are putting up some barriers there. You are... Uh, almost um, preventing yourself from moving forward because you are so scared that, um, you know, uh, what happens if things don't work out? 
uh, you know, what happens if you can't um, sort problems out. And you're seeing it as almost as a crisis uh, in your life right now. Now, there's that new offer coming in over there. You've got the Ace of Cups there. So, you know, this, is, this person is drinking from this cup. So it looks like you are going to accept this particular offer that comes in. And it's going to be very satisfactory to you, uh, you know. And uh, it might be that offer for new learning, new knowledge, because they're taking in this, uh, whatever they're drinking there. So whatever this new offer is with that Six of Cups, even though you're so scared and, you've, you know, you're very, very anxious about the whole situation, it looks like you are going to end up accepting whatever this offer is. So it's, it's not only is it an offer for extra study or for new study, but it's also going to impl mean that you're going to be doing a lot of travel, a lot of communication. So it's a lot of learning that comes in with this new job that you're going to be taking on or this new role. You need to get yourself organized uh, with the Emperor card. So you need to put aside all your fears and anxieties and take control of that situation. Do your research. You can see this Emperor's got a book in his hand, so you do need to research your, your subject very, very carefully. Know exactly what you're doing. Uh, take control of that particular situation uh, with that Emperor card. And maybe this particular position is going to be something where you're in authority as well. So you're, it's maybe a leadership position. So um, you've got the uh, Queen of Cups over here, and this is about, you know, you are looking at that offer very carefully. Uh, you're making plans for the future. Um, the Queen of Cups tends to be a little bit depressed as well. So, you know, she's somebody who gets a little bit emotional. So you have to set aside all your emotions uh, and try to get control over the situation uh, in your head first for you to move forward. So all those anxieties and fears, you need to lay them to rest and have confidence in yourself uh, in order for you to move forward. Um, you know, you are feeling a bit unsupported. You're feeling as though your hands are tied up uh, with this Five of Pentacles. This is your hopes and fears. And you're, you're scared that you know, you're feeling a bit vulnerable. You're feeling a bit exposed right now. Uh, so you're not quite sure about what to do. Maybe you feel that everything is, um, you know, there's a kind of a loss going on, a feeling of loss going on over here, that you may have to give up everything you know. Because um, the Pentacles is about, you know, it's the Earth suit. And uh, um, the Earth signs like their stability, and they really don't like movement. And this is almost uh, what you're afraid of. You're afraid of making that move. You're afraid of, um, you know, having to uh, face new situations. Now, going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the hanged man over there, you've got the four of pentacles over there, and you've got the two of cups. So the hanged man is about waiting for things to happen, and maybe you have to make some kind of sacrifice, give up something that is important for you in order for you to move forward. So if you have to make a whole a uh, whole move or you have to move completely to do this particular job or you know you have to, it's going to take a lot of travel so you might have to give up something of your personal life or your social life um, uh, you have to make that sacrifice in order for you to move forward the hangman also talks about you know some, uh, some kind of information needing to come to light before you can make a decision so you do need to do some research and find out uh, about how you can move forward um, you know with ed as uh, least uh, of a disruption as possible to you. So there's some kind of information that is missing, but there's also feeling as though things are a bit stuck right now. You're really not quite sure what to do. You you might be feeling like you're uh, you know uh, between a rock and a hard place uh, with that um, hangman. You might also uh, you know you need to see things very differently. You've got these bats hanging upside down here, so you do need to see things from a very, very different perspective, uh, get a different take on the situation, uh, and then make your decision. You've got that four of uh, pentacles over there, so you are clinging a lot to the old uh, scenario uh, that you've been in. You really don't want to let go of whatever you have accumulated, really, with that four of pentacles. You're really reluctant to make a start, really reluctant to make a brand new beginning. Now, you've got owls over here, so you're going to learn a lot if you make that change. Uh, so it is well worth letting go of things uh, and trying to move forward. Uh, progress is very, very uh, necessary uh, um, in order for you to evolve as a human being. So you might need to just let go, stop clinging on to the past, make a, a clean break from that, and start moving forward. Uh, you also need to make sure that you're managing finances carefully here with this Four of Pentacles. Uh, and, uh, you know, make sure that you're watching how you're saving money as well. 
uh, there's a decision to be made here with this two of cups so there's a lot of self-reflection that needs to go on over here so you do need to do give this uh, offer some consideration you need to look at yourself look at your goals reevaluate yourself and reevaluate your goals in order for you to make this decision so big changes are going to come in but you need to make that decision yourself by reevaluating what it is you're going to gain from accepting this offer it looks like you will accept this offer because it's that ace of cups the beginning of something brand new over there and it looks like it's going to be some kind of leadership position there um, but you do need to do a lot of self-reflection there to make that decision and give up those fears you know lay those fears and doubts to rest so I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot for the main uh, for the main oracle read and then you've got the Ace of Autumn, which is the Ace of Pentacles, uh, a windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others, a successful project, a happy change in your career. So maybe this is why you're a bit reluctant to make, uh, you know, uh, changes. Um, it looks like there's a lot of books over here. So there's a lot of study as well that comes in with this particular job, a lot of learning that comes in. And it looks like it's, it's a change in your career. And maybe this is why you're a bit afraid to make uh, those changes. Now you've got the Emperor card appearing in again, so use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So you've got the Emperor appearing twice and this is about you. So, you know, you could either be facing some kind of legal issue that you have to deal with. Uh, maybe there's, you know, you could be doing an exam or some kind of um, decision will be made. Uh, you know, uh, this is dealing with either legal or official decisions, but this is also about using logic and structure and not being, uh, not allow yourself to get too emotionally upset about things. Uh, and in order to uh, g get success, you need to be very, very organized in how you're doing things. The the emperor is really renowned for being able to um, organize and to um, use his resources pretty wisely. He knows how to to use which resource for what uh, for what particular situation is required. So, you know, you need to be very, very organized, be very structured, and be, uh, you know, very logical, so uh, very unemotional. He's not like the Empress card, where, you know, she's very, very nurturing and very emotional about the whole thing. The Emperor is very, very cold about whatever decision he makes. So you could be w waiting for some kind of official decision, or maybe uh, exam results or something like that that you've done, you know, because you have been studying with that hermit card there, or it's talking about you needing to take control of that situation, be organized and logical. And then you've got the three of springs. So this is about travel and this is about working in a group of people. So plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There might be more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So this is about, you know, making sure that those plans are playing out for you, whatever you're planning. This is also about working with groups of people, being a team player and there could be a lot of travel that comes in with that three of spring as well. So there, it looks like there's some, you know, with that knight of um, rods, there is definitely travel coming in. And you've got that eight of rods. There's some travel coming in for you there. Uh, and then you've got that three of spring, which is also uh, making travel plans and putting whatever plans you had into play and also traveling with that. So, you know, something brand new opening up for you on that work front here. So you've got that Ace of Autumn, which is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So this job that you're going to get is going to be very sat satisfactory. And you can see with both these cards, there's going to be a lot of study and learning and research that you will need to do with that particular job. And this is going to be, uh, you know, something good. You're going to enjoy it quite a bit. With the Ace of Cups, it's about satisfaction uh, in whatever you're doing. So you are waiting for things to happen. Uh, make sure you are, you know, even though they seem to be a bit stuck, uh, you do need to do your research and look at things from a very, very different perspective uh, and see um, the possibilities in it, the potential of it, uh, before you uh, make those decisions. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching.